Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Very, very anxious, nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends to a very anxiety-filled update. I just got back from post office and library. I put in a change of address at the, li at the post office. Now, I was foolish and forgot to do that when I closed out my post office box because on March 1st, my post office box ended. So if anybody has sent anything to my post office box since then, it's going to be returned because my post office box is shut. And even though I just turned in a change of address today, it's going to take 7 to 10 days. So it's going to be the end of March before anything can be uh, forwarded from my post office box to my house. So by the time it becomes available, it's going to be useless. So if anybody has sent anything to my post office box, um, it's going to get returned. So you can either resend it or do what you like at that point. I'm very sorry. For the rest of it, when I went to the library, Google wants two parts of verification. They send I they send a text to my phone, and I took care of it that way. Then they said we're going to send an email to this email address. The email address is one that, of course, I don't have the password to. So I had to go to Outlook, Microsoft's thing, and say, I forgot my password. Can I recover this thing? They asked for a bunch of information, and then I submitted it, and they said, we'll get back to you in 24 hours to tell you whether or not you gave us enough information that will give you your address back. So for the next 24 hours, I have no ideas whether or not I'm going to be able to get into that address. If I can't, then I can't get into my Google address. And if I can't do that, I can't get onto Amazon because my recovery email for my Amazon password and all that is Google. It's all tied up right now onto whether or not I can get into my Outlook address. And I'm in the unenviable position of here is my SSD drive that I have things backed up on. I need a Windows machine so I can get onto here and get passwords so I can go online, recover my addresses, and put a Chromebook onto my wish list. But I need a Windows machine to recover the passwords so that I can go online and order a Chromebook. So I can't get online to order one until I've gone online and ordered one so that I can go online and order one. So tomorrow, when I go to the library again to see if Microsoft is going to let me into that account, I am, if they don't, I'm going to make up a new Amazon account, make up a new Amazon wish list, put some stuff onto that, and then put carefully write down the URL, and then put it in the video description of my update tomorrow. Now I wanted to read the YouTube comments at the very least. So I went to YouTube, and they'll play the video. No sound. But because of restricted mode to keep you from accessing anything mature, they don't let you see comments. Comments are an issue. The video would be, I would think. You can watch the offensive video. You just can't read comments about it. So I couldn't read any of my comments. It could be filled with all sorts of people saying things like, ha ha ha, we're glad that your machine is dead. We'll never send you anything. Or people saying, oh my gosh, I'd like to help. How can I? And I have no clue. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have a new email at Outlook, so if, I'm going to write it in the video description. So hopefully if anybody wants to send me an email, I won't be able to see it until tomorrow. 
but it all hinges on tomorrow. Because I can't get into my PayPal to see what money anyone has sent me, if anyone has, because some people on PSN have said they are trying to help. And uh, that said that others in comments have been donating. But until I can get into my account, I can't access any of it. So again, I need to access this so that I can go online to get a machine that will access this so I can go online and order a machine to access this. So until tomorrow, I am continuing to live in an extremely anxious state. As it is, I have to force myself to eat. I, my body is hungry. I haven't eaten for a very long time, but I have zero desire to eat anything. I was just from the library, was going to fix myself something to eat down there, and it was just too much trouble. I'll eat later. Later might be tomorrow. <sighs> so, I will keep you updated. Thank you all so very much, anyone that watches. I'm... I'm the one that walked into this meat grinder face first without making sure that I would be okay. I should have done something somehow to take care of this. The only thing I can say is with my autism, my ADHD, my depression, all these things along with all the stress because yesterday or today, I can't even remember what today's date is, with the date of my, my late wife and my anniversary. And on the 19th of this month is the anniversary of her dying. Along with the stressors of knowing that my housemates are trying to find a new house so I could be homeless soon, I got so much going on up here, I can barely think. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I'll see you sometime.